So I ended up purchasing the Logitech G29 racing wheel. I know there are better setups out there, but after reading countless reviews, I concluded this product seems to do everything well enough for what I'm looking for. I also purchased a simple racing wheel stand off of Amazon. It was actually under hundred bucks and has everything that I need. All right, so I got a race wheel. I'm about to be great. Let's go. Oh shoot. Now I'm starting to get angry. So, I took a step back. Back to the license test. I chose to focus on IA5. This test actually helps with me being patient, be efficient on the turns, and making sure I don't brake or accelerate too early. While those should be common sense, when you get a new setup, it kind of throws you off a bit. And you kind of have to retrain yourself how to drive properly. Right off the bat, I'm able to beat my best controller time, which is significant, but still not competitive with the people I want to race against. So, after browsing the web and doing some research, I decided to set a goal to at least be one second quicker, which means I would have to get my time under 26 seconds. Obviously, there is room for improvement. I am content. Let's go ahead and move on to practicing the daily race. While I am practicing the daily race, I'm still not ready to hop in competitively in the daily races until I get more practice in the online lobbies racing with my wheel. This is to avoid wrecking my and other people's driver's rating, which I almost did earlier. While the time is not impressive, the fact that I was able to do this on the first lap is great. This track felt so much easier after revisiting that test, as I now felt a lot more comfortable with my wheel setup. Okay, so let's take what we've learned and apply it to an actual race. I'll go ahead and let the entire race play out so you can see my lap to lap improvements. The first few laps will not be pretty, as I do not have much experience at this track.
I went from being slow as hell to mediocre and got the fastest lap. I will take that. So after getting used to the wheel setup, it's time to improve. I need to learn to race using a manual transmission, utilize the throttle better on exits, and stick to my own racing plan when close to competitors. A lot of this I mastered with a controller, but as mentioned before, once you have a new setup, it's kind of like retraining once again. Based on my experience with a racing wheel, I would highly recommend getting one as it gives you a far greater sense of control once you get used to it. And overall, it's just a much more immersive experience when compared to using a controller. 